Hi, brothers and sisters. So, <clears throat> I've kind of been holding back from making a video defending myself and other brothers and sisters in Christ that are born again, faith-filled believers that have dreams and visions. Um, they have been brought forth and are being used by Jesus to be watchmen and to warn people um, that things are coming and to teach people um, the doctrine of grace and uh, to preach the blood. Um, I wasn't sure if I was even going to do a, a video and it's really not even in defense of of me or I mean it hurts me that I see other people being slandered and cut down by uh, the devil it it does but it hurts me also too that that the Lord's the Holy Spirit is being quenched that people are running from dreams and visions and audibles it it hurts me because I know that those are gifts from God and they they're precious gifts I mean it's like a direct phone line to God and people are warned they're edified uh, it brings joy into people's lives um, it teaches people and yes we do have scripture but not everything that the Lord shows us or warns us about is going to be exactly in scripture it's not and Shelly says well all these people having dreams back to back to back to back to back to back to back and visions and this and that and the other thing that's not God well, I rebuke that. that it, that's what she's saying is not true. It is from the Lord. And I'm not going to let her slander that. Or quench that. Or put fear into anybody. Um, like, for example, and Lashara gave some good examples too. If God is showing you that there's going to be problems with airplanes. Airplanes are going to be falling from the sky or whatever. Uh, what if you can't find that in scripture? Okay, there was no airplanes back then. Or if the Lord tells me that Harry and Meghan and Markle's baby is going to be named Archibald. Okay, well, I can't find that in scripture. It must not be true. Well, it turned out to be true. Um, if the Lord tells me something about my family, well, I can't find that in scripture. That must not be true. And it turns out to be true. Um, Russia, Turkey, you know, I've had dreams talking about nations, military men, um, war, things like that. Well, if you can't find it in scripture, and you know, I'm not like the best person. Well, the Medes are these people in latter day, things like that. You know, I didn't know any of that type of stuff. But it turned out to be true. Later on, the Lord says, yeah, yeah, see, look at this. He brings something to your attention. And so I'm tired of the attacks against the brethren, the Holy Spirit-filled, born-again believers that are in the office of prophecy. And they are teaching the blood being attacked. It hurts my heart. And she's uh, made video after video attacking people, attacking people, attacking people. And it's just nonsense. It is not a ministry. It is hate. Everything that's coming off of her lips is hate. And you know, the Lord told me the first round, like a couple years ago, when she turned on us and started, she's making it seem like we all turned on her and this and that. But it wasn't like that. She was doing videos behind our back because she's in Australia. We'd be sleeping and someone happened to catch this. I forget who it was. And they were saying, look what Shelly's doing while we're all asleep. 
And she started denying eternal salvation, denying this. So she came in like a wolf in sheep's clothing, which that she still is. And uh, we thought, well, maybe she'll learn um, grace. Maybe she'll learn the, two, the true doctrine. Maybe she will be born again. And she was saying, oh, I had a rapture dream and all that. Okay, that's fine. You had a rapture dream, but you weren't going up. You, the, you left that part out. You just saw the, so, the sky crack open. And you were telling your neighbor that she could, it, come on, it, she could leave. Um, so, you know, there's things that God shows us that, hey, yeah, this is going to happen. So, you know, uh, figure out what you believe before the, before time's up. You can't backload works as part of salvation. You just can't. And works aren't even a part of our sanctification. I see a lot of people doing that too. And I'm glad people have spoken up about that. Where they believe their sanctification walk is, is works and, and commands and this and that. Well, then that, that just leads you right back to works for your salvation. It's just, it's like, okay. But I had a dream about this a couple of years ago when she snapped on us and uh, showed her colors. And the Lord showed me that, and this is while I w we, we were sleeping at nighttime, and I didn't know she was doing this. I didn't know she was turning on us, making videos just nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty videos that, that is not the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is a restrainer. And the Holy Spirit, the, the God is love, okay? And I had this dream that I was looking at a video on YouTube. And it had the titles of our names. It was me, it said Amanda Christian, Sherry Rich. Um, and it, it was, excuse me, it was a lineup of a bunch of us, sisters in Christ, and I knew that what was in this video was sickening and it made me feel ill in my stomach. My stomach was churning like drop to your knees sick. And I looked up next to the video. It's like the video turned in up onto this into air. And I saw a woman standing there with a profile like Shelly. And behind her stepped out this giant, massive shadow man with a bald head. Evil. I sent so much evil off of it. And I knew this shadow man was behind what she was doing. And I didn't fully understand exactly the the context of this dream until just recently and I, I, I was like well maybe it's going to happen I knew she was making nasty videos but it, before but it was nothing like how it is now stomach turning talking about people's sister's deceased child and just throwing his name out there like it's nothing mocking her mocking her Mocking her gifts from God, Cherry Rich, mocking her and, and, and making videos of things that happened between me and her in the past. And during this time, I was butting heads with her about what the true gospel was and how we are saved. And I, we were being kind of... I guess you could say poopy to each other. I was ignoring her comments. I mean, you, truthfully, can you tell me that pe none of us have ever done it? Ignored someone's comments because we thought, well, we don't feel something uh, or some, or I don't believe that. or. But that is something that we worked out between ourselves. And it is the most awesome testimony. And she would say things and I, I would be like, no, that's not it. It was God telling me you're saved by grace. Because I grew up in, in, in law. 
I grew up in churches that say you have to strive, you have to work to be good enough to earn your salvation and maintain it. And the Lord sent Sherry into my life. I dreamed about her before I even uh, came across her on my comments. And my first comment was to her, hey, I had this dream. Do you think you can interpret it? And I had no idea that the Lord had, uh, later on she said, the Lord sh showed up to me in a dream and handed me a paper. It was Jesus. And I opened the paper. It was like a scroll. And I opened it up and it was my teaching license. He gave me my license to teach. And the Lord just doesn't entrust anybody to teach. You have to know what you're doing. You have to know the, the gospel. And so I was fighting against these things. And then I would pray at night and I'd be like, Lord, is that true what she's saying? Because I, I had an open heart. The Lord started to open my heart so I could receive these things about his blood and that he paid it all on the cross. And the, if my journey, if my, from that time on, if my, my dreams aren't prophetic, they're teaching. They're to teach me and they're to teach others about the true gospel of grace. And so Shelly's taken all this and is, and, and half of the things she's saying, 90% of them aren't even true. And the other things that are true, she's twisting it all around and, and just being nuts. She's nuts. First Peter 5, 8, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And I'm telling you guys, do not let it devour you. I've seen people saying I've unsubscribed from every James channel. And you know what? I don't think she realizes. And there's others that are siding with her with huge channels, huge followings that it's just because someone has a channel and is sharing dreams in a, in a prophetic office, which they need to be, they, if they're true prophetic, they, they're, they're teaching the true gospel as well. She doesn't realize, and maybe doesn't read the comments, that about 90% of the people that are on my channel Sherry's channel, Lashara's channel, Kim Fisher's channel, Kim Mosley's channel, Lily Girls, Colleen's. Um, they're dreamers. They hear from the Lord. Thousands. I mean, I know I've left people out because my brain is so frazzled right now because of all of this that's been going on since the 17th. <laughs> so are, are not just people with channels, but all are all the subs, all are all the viewers, witches too, and warlocks and, and tarot card reading and terps. And, uh, it makes no sense. And nobody's doing tarot card reading in terps. That's absurd. That is absurd. And so I had this shadow man dream, this big, ugly shadow man. And if you guys remember correctly, before all these direct attacks from her videos, I had a dream like a week ago that the ugliest, most disgusting, demonic demon was trying to attack me with a bald head. And I started rebuking it and praying in tongues against it, and it shrank back away from me and that's what I've been doing you guys I've been going around using my prayer language speaking in tongues casting that that devil aside because he wants to devour us walking uh, and and Shelly is the perfect conduit instead of being open and readily available to be used by the Holy Spirit which there is no Holy Spirit because she hasn't <laughs> It's obvious what she believes, which is not the finished work of the cross. 
uh, instead of being an open vessel for the Lord and the Holy Spirit and maybe receiving dreams and visions and audibles, she wants to open up her flesh to be used by the adversary to attack what God is doing. And, you know, people say, well, we need to be in love and all this stuff. Da, da, da. Okay, this is the love of Christ. This is the love of Christ. Speaking out against people that would s dice and slice and trash the true gospel. And trash... Uh, the beautiful gifts that God has, has given a lot of us. It's demonic. It's disgusting. And uh, the, la the first round we went with her, I also had another dream where I was outside and Lashara was standing there and I, Lashara Pinkney, and I was trying to show her. I said, watch out. And she goes, what? And she had a dress on. I said, look. And in the grass was a black skink. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but I knew. There's no way. This is, this is from the Lord. Because I had this dream right in the same, within the same two days of the shadow man, Shelly dream. And this skink, what happened was this skink, I knew it was an uh, Australian skink. It was a black Australian skink. And it started to slither up the back of her leg, up the back of her dress. And I said, watch out. And she turned around and, and the Lord let me zoom in on this thing. And it was, it looks like a snake. But it was even more creepier than that because it had legs. <laughs> That's what a skink is. It's, it's not a, a complete snake. It's even creepier. It has these little legs too. And the, the type it was, it's called an Australian skink. And so the Lord was giving warnings about that back then. And that's what he does, you guys. He warns us. He, you know, when he knocks on the door, he, he said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If you open it, you know, I'll enter in and I'm paraphrasing and you will sup with me and, and I will sup with you. What does that mean? And yes, uh, in the beginning, when I first started having dreams, the Lord did knock on my bedroom window. It was so loud, both me and my husband sat up in bed. And then he knocked again a few nights later. I think it was like five times. <clears throat> and then the knock happened again another few nights later. It went down to three. And the Lord was like, do, you ha I, do I have your attention, please? I was a lordship salvationist. I was lost. I had not trusted in the finished work of the cross. I had no idea what that was. Yes, I heard about this little baby Jesus born in a manger. And uh, he died on the cross and... Okay, sorry. I have people... You guys are so precious and dear, and I just love you guys so much. I have people <clears throat> coming by trying to give me encouragement, and uh, it's answered prayer because I've been praying about this so much and what to do, and... But um, I told the Lord, you know, Father, if I stand up for anybody, it's going to be for you and for the gospel and for what you're doing and the way you're working right now in these last days and this in these last seconds. Um But yeah, I knew about this baby Jesus. I knew that that Jesus died on the cross. I didn't think Jesus was God. Um You know, uh Jesus told the Pharisees, "I am." I am. Before Abraham was, I am. And they took up stones to, to kill him. And then at the burning bush, uh, he told him, I am, who do I tell them? 
who, uh, Moses, he told Moses, go back and tell Pharaoh. Okay, well, who do I tell them? You are. And he said, tell them I am. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He told the Pharisees, believe upon me. He told them, you are from your father, the devil. Because you won't believe upon me. You don't believe me. He knew. He knew exactly he was going to the cross. He was going to die. He was going to be the, the lamb that takes away the sins of the world. And put our sins into remission. And as for today, anybody that does not believe upon him as Lord and Savior and believe that he finished everything on the cross and believe that we are eternally sealed, uh, I'd be kind of scared about your salvation situation and where you stand with the Lord. So we need to be aware of these things, you guys, and not suppressing what the Holy Spirit is trying to do. And, you know, we've been given these warnings that war is about to start. Um, and another thing with these numbers, I noticed she made a video about that. Tarot card numbers and all this stuff. Ta -ta -ta, Kabbalah, blah, blah, blah. First off, no. I'm not even in the law to be led into Kabbalah. I don't even read the book of Enoch because the Lord told me audibly that uh, people that read the book of Enoch are committing spiritual adultery against him. And that was enough for me. I was standing in a Barnes and Nobles and I saw a sign that said the book of Enoch and Jesus was standing next to me and he said they do this as to commit spiritual adultery against me. And, um, I just, it's sickening. It's sickening. It's, it's taking all beautiful testimonies and how the Lord is working in all of our lives and twisting it, um, into hate because there's ignorance. There's no understanding. There's no Holy Spirit there. There's no restrainer. Someone that has the Holy Spirit, it restrains them from committing spiritual murder against their brother or sister. And it's not, I mean, in this case, it's not even brother and sister because she, people that don't confess that he died on the cross to put all our sins into remission and that we're saved by our faith through God's grace and, and period, that's it. They, they haven't been born again. They haven't been born again. Um, and this dream, it seems like the attacks got worse. Uh, Carrie Ann put out this dream that she had that she cannot interpret it. First of all, she was standing in a bathroom trying to wash her hands. Which means that she's still in works for her salvation. She's trying to wash herself clean, wash her flesh. Um, and then some uh, during the dream, she saw Donald Trump coming. Okay, God, that's the truth in there. God's trying to show her. Okay, Donald Trump with all his followers and this and that marching down a street. Okay, and then she looks, she sees Shelly up on a flagpole. And Donald Trump's trying to tell her to come down off that flagpole. And she's like, nope, nope, this is right where God wants me to be. That has talking nothing about Shelly's channel. Shelly, it's not talking anything about you, about your channel, and coming and ripping, shredding apart, uh, shredding people, the body of Christ that are true believers, that, that are being used in the office of prophetic. That's talking nothing about that. You are up there on that flagpole as a nation. It's called the nation of Australia. And that's what you're representing in this uh, dream. And you're being stubborn. And if you've ever heard that old military song, the monkey climbed up the flagpole. Yeah, I won't finish the rest of it. But 
it's a British tune. And they, they, yeah, it's not good. And the Lord's showing that you're stubborn. And just because you're saying this is right where the Lord wants me to be, doesn't mean that that's not coming from the Lord. That's coming from your mouth because you're stubborn. And I just pray for you. You're hurting so many people. You're turning so many people away from the gospel, from their redemption. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. You're being a, a minion for the adversary is what you're being. And you know, if you want God to use you, believe in the true gospel. Repent and believe the gospel of your salvation so your sins will be blotted out. Repent means to change your mind. Repent means to feel uh, sorry of your works in the temple. <laughs> Repent of your unbelief. Change your mind and believe the gospel. Repent of your unbelief. Feel sorry of your unbelief in the finished work of the cross. So your sins may be blotted out. Because Jesus is the only one that blots out sins. Salvation is a free gift to those that believe. Free. It's free. It's not something you go around earning or you get brownie buttons for rebuking God's children. It's, it's not something you work for. And there's a couple other ones that are coming against us too, which uh, uh, almost home prophecy and I have this Judith Levi lady. She thinks that she is the bride. Um, and they can't understand that salvation is a free gift. And I pray that the Lord would take the scales off your eyes and the plugs out of your ears that you can obtain uh, salvation through Jesus Christ alone, through his death, burial, and resurrection. And that you believe this. You believe that. You believe that he is the atonement. Because we're all sinners. We're all, like the Bible says, we're, we've all missed the mark. We've all transgressed the law. There's not one righteous, no, not one. The only righteousness we get, and it's not through works. It's not through our flesh. It's not through obedience to the law. It's through our obedience to the truth. And it's through Jesus Christ alone through our faith in him alone he was the only man that walked on this earth that had no sin till this day and it's his righteousness like a covering over us is what's what makes us righteous we have no righteousness in us in our flesh and it's apparent by the videos that you're making attacking all my precious brothers and sisters you need the love of Jesus and you need the Holy Spirit. And so if we could just all pray for that for Shelly, because I mean, just like my neighbor, it, it disturbs me. It disturbs me. Um, so anyway, I was warned against all this stuff a long time ago. And, uh, you know, the devil hates it. The devil hates it when, um, when grace starts sweeping through YouTube like a Holy Spirit fire. He just hates it. Uh, two years ago, or a little over two years ago, uh, me and Cherry, we were going from channel to channel. No, it's, it's by grace that you're saved, not of yourselves. It's, it's not a work, so no man can boast. It's Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. And a lot of these dreamers, they were having dreams about this and that. And they thought it was prophetic. And they thought it was this. And they thought it was that. And it wasn't. It was God trying to tell them, you're still in the law. Trust me. Just trust in me. You're working for your salvation. There's still a few out there like that. We were trying to tell them, no, that's not what God's trying to tell you. 
And yes, Sherry does have a gift given to her of interpretation. She does have a gift. And that's another thing sad at me that makes me sad too is she's it's been trampled. It's been trampled and trodden on. Um, and, you know, we're just these fleshly vessels and uh, it just gets hard sometimes. I'm not going to let the devil uh, shred and rip apart our ministries. I'm praying against it every day, all day long. And I know the Lord is going to handle this matter. He's going to handle the situation. He's allowing this to happen right now. There's a reason. And yesterday, uh, the devil almost had me again. I was like, oh, I'm just going to float off into somewhere and go away. And I had a dream last night that I was at Michael's house. And I, and I was getting ready to leave. I, I didn't want him to see me. <laughs> And I was trying to drive out of his driveway and he drove by and he saw me and he stopped and he's like, where are you going? I said, I'm leaving. He said, no, you're not. And these big gates closed on me from the driveway. I couldn't get out. And then I was standing next to him by this pile of batteries. And I said, well, I would help you, but it's just getting harder. I said something like that. And he interrupted me and he's all, well, then help me. Help me sort these batteries before it's too late and time is up. Now that Michael is Jesus. That's the archangel. He is, Je that's Jesus. And the batteries represent us. It's our ministries. It's our, uh, it's our, the Lord strengthens us. He gives us the, the, that Holy Spirit fuel to keep going. And I'm not going to let Shelly toss our batteries out of our engines and out the door into a field somewhere because she's ignorant and doesn't understand how God works, how the Holy Spirit moves because it's foreign to her. It's foreign and, and, and she doesn't understand. She's operating out of the flesh and out of fear and a, some demonic in there too. Anyway, this video is getting long. Um, Shelly, uh, pray for you. Um, keep my brothers and sisters names off your mouth. You're not working for the Lord. Um, it's apparent. It's very apparent. Um, stop talking about t taking character digs at people. Stop hatching uh, out past things against people, situations against people. It's just distasteful and it's ugly and nasty. Um, stop talking about my friend's baby that passed away. Like it's just some, uh, mocking and making fun of. She had a stroke. You're going to sit there and mock and make fun of her. How that's the love of Jesus. Really? Jesus told you to say that you're doing the will of the Lord. That's what God, God's telling you to say all the stuff. You're not being led by the Holy Spirit. God doesn't tell people to get on and make videos and 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 mock and say the names of their deceased sons and make fun of them because they had strokes. That is not the Lord. That is not love. That is not how the Holy Spirit works. It's disgusting. And I will continue to pray for you because uh, maybe God can... Well, if you get... The Holy Spirit, you'd be a wonderful testimony for God. But as far as it stands right now, I don't see any fruits. I don't see any love. I don't see any, any Holy Spirit coming out of you. It's all snakes and daggers. Anyway, I love you guys and God bless you.